were on for a long time. Everybody seems to have got away as a Toro Rosso slow in the midfield, but at the front, and Rosberg's flying, already taking second place. Weber's defending and keeps third place. Not a great start from McLaren. There's a Ferrari in between them. Michael Schumacher away pretty well too, but still Weber's defending against Lewis Hamilton. And Hamilton has the line, but he's gone wide. Hamilton would have had the line into four. Now he's side by side with Button. And Button is through and will have a better turn in to five at the bottom of the hill. Michael Schumacher fancies a look around Hamilton too. So Hamilton went from the aggressor onto the total defence and lost out badly, still defending hard against Schumacher. So Vettel leaves from Rosberg, Weber. Look behind Petrov and uh, Schumacher and they're touched. Surely Schumacher's front wing is damaged and Massa goes through. I don't understand why Michael wouldn't have just given that place up. Well, he has now. He's given them all up. He's in the pit lane. I'm seeing a replay of the incident between Petrov and Michael. Now, at this point, Petrov is through. So, I don't understand why Michael wouldn't give him a bit of space. It's simply not worth the risk of turning in when you want to and you have someone on the inside. And this is Hamilton then getting the job done down at turn 12. Where's Button? Will he come back? No, Hamilton's, but he's gone wide in 13, but it still leaves him in good track position for 14. Now he has to defend down the pit straight. Hamilton's got a little bit out of shape in the middle of the corner, and that puts Button clean up the inside again. So Lewis a bit eager on the throttle. This is so reminiscent of last year. And now he's got the position back down into turn one. Action replay from uh, the closing stages of last year's Grand Prix. And Red Bull are out for Sebastian Vettel, the race leader by 6.1 seconds. Uh, when they both uh, went uh, past the start-finish line last time. And on go another set of soft tyres. They look like a brand new set of soft tyres to me. So he's got a comfortable run out. It's just a question of what traffic he's going to feed into. And uh, Button then will lead the race because he hasn't pitted yet. We just want to see the two Renault drivers trying to barge each other off the racetrack, gesticulating to each other. <laughs> Petrov virtually pushing Heidfeld into the pit lane. Well, I understood Nick Heidfeld, you know, waving his hand in there, but I'm, I'm a bit surprised why Petrov put his hand in there. And this is Michael Schumacher with Kobayashi. That's Kobayashi then. Oh, Schumacher in the wars again. And that was from Sutil. De Resta lines him up next. It's going to be a clean pass down the inside. Didn't need his DRS there. He pulled no. that move into, into and, turn nine. And of course, he, well, I don't think Rosberg will be perceived to have been within a second behind him. Can Rosberg open his wing? I think, I think Massa can open his because he was within. It's not open. No, because he was in front on the way into the activation zone. There's no line there. But uh, now it's Massa who's got the favoured inside line. But Rosberg will try to stay and uh, keep the racing line through 13 runs wide. If Massa cuts back underneath him now, he'll nail him easily down the pit straight. But Rosberg saw that one coming. Some ferocious fighting going on there. And Rosberg's come back at him. And Rosberg uh, is down in the 12. And look at that button right in there as well. Can he take advantage of the situation? Rosberg will try to do the same thing and keep the high ground for turn 13, which he does. Jensen's got himself all lined up for a wide turn in. But he goes oh, round the outside instead. Fantastic. Something sliding down the outside of a Red Bull, which must have been Fernando Alonso. And Alonso takes second place. He must have had the DRS and everything working beautifully down that straight. And breezed past um, Weber into the braking zone for turn 12. Alonso, P2, nine seconds off the lead. Here we go. This is Mark Webber, down into 12. Alonso's covered the inside. Webber's got to try and just sweep all the way around the outside. And they're going, they're going to touch wheel, but Webber's got the turn in point to 13. Now he's just got to hold him tight. Park it on the apex, accelerate hard. And that is the way to do it. Brilliant driving. But look at that, Alonso coming back. Webber can move once to the inside. And uh, now Alonso's got a better line in, but Weber will close him off, and he should now have the move done and dusted. Michael Schumacher, right down the middle of the racetrack. Michael's wing is open as well, of course, because he yeah. was in the one-second window on the... on the Toros, he's going to make it stick. Can we get three cars of breath? 
Yes, we can. Yes, love it. Well then, Michael and Massa also then takes the place away from Al Jaswari. Well, Shumi's racecraft was... Whoa. Oh, look at that. Massa's gone straight up the inside. Schumacher won't give him the space, but has to in the end, just sheer momentum. He ran him out of road and it was a fair overtake. That's exactly what Michael would have done. Red Bull have absolutely flowed here in Istanbul. Vettel takes the Grand Prix victory. It will be a 1-2 as Mark Webber crosses the line for second place. Another great drive, feisty drive with Alonso just 10 seconds away from the winner. Brilliant job, well done, great drive, well done. Woohoo! Yes! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. What a race. Controlled from beginning to the end. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. It's time for the champagne. It's also time to work out how they are going to beat Sebastian Vettel in his Red Bull car. He seems absolutely invincible from the start of the Grand Prix to the final chequered flag.